It's interesting that he, he introduced me by looking at the question of identity. Because in truth and in fact, that was one of the more, you might want to say, um, profound impacts of Jeff Joseph, the music of Jeff Joe, and the music of uh, Dominican musicians of the period. Okay? Sometimes I, I, I poke fun at myself. Sometimes I say, Maniwa Susa, Maniwa Sin. Which when you sound like him, when you sound like when you sound white. So in fact, you say I'm a red Dominican man, but also a red Caribbean man. In terms of when you've got DNA. But more so than DNA, you have to look at your, your identity, your attitude, your Creole attitude, your Carinago attitude, your African attitude, and all of that in the mix of, like, of the multiplicity of identities, which in fact Jeff Joe represented. But I will start by reading some quotations of what some very important and interesting people have to say about Jeff Joe. And then we will weave it together. Uh, we have to kind of rush it because there's not much more radio time. And um, quite a few folks out there want to hear. Uh, well, I think some of that analysis. Okay, let me just start by uh, a quotation from um, Josette Manet, who is the president, president of the Conseil General over in Martinique. Mm -hmm. She says, well, she said it in French, but I did some translations. Uh, Jeff Joseph was one of the lights of our musical culture across the world. He influenced a whole generation of singers and musicians. He charmed for decades an audience who loved him, not only for his talent and energy which he expressed on stage, but also for his human qualities, his commitment to weave the fraternal links among all the peoples of the Caribbean and beyond. It was Joseph Manet, President of the Conseil General of in Martinique. Now we have Yvette Gallo, who is also President de la Commission de la Culture de la Région, meaning she's the President of the, of the Cultural Commission of the same regional council in Martinique. Uh, let's see what she has to say. For all of us attached to his music and his immense stage talent, it is a trouble, it is a deal. Singer of Carlos Lipso, Jeff re-established our link and belonging to the Caribbean. Very important statement. Jeff Joseph re-established our link in England, people of the French Caribbean, Dr. Martin Kipur. Re-established our link and belonging to the Caribbean. A British artist, artist that linked people, we thank him and pay homage to him for his innocent support that he gave to us. His memory will remain for all those who knew him and the awareness and the conscience of our Caribbean identity is preserved and developed as a result. There's uh, Maurice Monte, who is the uh, president of the Association of Males in Martinique. He says, I can be seen of Grammar's, an artist and musician from the world of work. Jeff marks his epoch with numerous unforgettable hits which have been several generations dance. Okay. It's very, very, very important. We have from the uh, cultural uh, affairs direction again in Martinique. Jeff Joseph leaves with us the memory of a humble man, joyful and warm, one who enjoyed life. A veritable showman who has charmed everyone from Dominica Bay, formerly the Good Grammars, to New York or Paris, passing through Guadalupe and, of course, Martinique. His music, the mixture of calypso, funk, reggae, has been brought to dance for over 40 years and spread Creole all over the Caribbean. Eugene Marche, president of the uh, Southern States Committee, again in Martinique, says, uh, we've just done a true life of Caribbean music characterized by an inimitable voice. The voice of Jeff. Hats imitated. He was an iconic representative of the Caribbean period with the Gujaras. And his numerous hits, including the famous Big Deva, he crossed the periods in styles with equal talent. Very important. He crossed the periods and styles with equal talent. Let's learn a little bit more. His 
melodies, his lyrics, and his attractive personality, and his huge simplicity will remain engraved in our memories. Very, very important. Very, very powerful statement. We have Maurice Zela, who is the Association of St. Lucian and the President of the He was an ambassador for Dominica, represented the Prime Minister of Dominica at the wake of him. He was a close friend, otherwise it was very difficult for Jeff not to have friends everywhere. His passing is a great loss for the entire Caribbean and a great loss for the Korean community. I have a quote here from none other than Ophelia, Ophelia song that she gave to the media. Uh, she said, this is heavy. That really killed me. Jeff was my big brother. I understand his music career before me as well as Gordon Henderson, uh, uh, who uh, was before her uh, period as well. He showed me the example of how to carry Dominica on my back while I traveled abroad. Sophia said, is that? He got shy, Dominica, and I told Okay? He was an ambassador for Dominican culture, and he was so named by the government uh, as a cultural ambassador. I will miss him because he was a people's artist, one who enjoyed life, he paid homage to his country and some cats live so till the end. That was Ophelia. A very uh, humble person from Dominica says, Natasha, it is, uh, if I did not know it personally, I feel as if it was a lost period. Jeff meant a lot of things to us. He made us proud of the seas, and many people will tell you that before everything, he was very attached to the home. Another quote, Jeff, uh, again, from another Dominican person who um, was my name of uh, Natasha yesterday. Jeff Joseph represented his island all over the world. He was very attracted to his Dominican roots. He was someone who was very kind, very friendly, someone one could talk to without knowing that he was swell heading beside his artistic achievements. Very important. Dominica has lost one of his great figures. Finally, Raphael Morfion, this great Martinican Creole author, uh, many, uh, uh, the author of many uh, Creole, actually Creole language novels, uh, who won uh, very prestigious awards in France. Uh, he says, uh, we recall the good sentiments of the, uh, sorry, he says, Jeff and the other great Dominican musicians, God Henderson included, basically invented modern Creole music. Mixing it with African American rhythms. They gave a great impetus to the Creole language, an impetus that Casa and other extraordinary bands amplified into through the music and through the Creole language. Jeff and his comrades, Dominican musicians, transported Creole to countries where they had never written before, for example, in Guyana. Jeff, his great laughter, his smile, his communicative personality always puts you. Raphael Monfian, author of Romani. Now, more recently, we also recall many of the very good sentiments uh, at the World Real Music Festival issued by many of the musicians who perform, people like uh, Thierry Martin from, uh, from, from Martinique, uh, our friends uh, from Haiti, the Haitian bands, all giving personal testimonies of the impact of Jeff, not only on the music, but as, as human beings in terms of their personal. And uh, last and not least, right? I want to, yeah. I want to, I want to take my friend, who who I used and uh, as an, he was, my, I was, he was my idol as I grew up listening to his music. He's not that old. No, no. I'm old. right behind him. Yeah. But his music made me different. I grew up listening to his music, and it's a pleasure for me to be next to him, to be standing next to him, to be in country, to be playing music next to him. No, we call those testimonies and quotations. Let's just reflect back on the keywords. In terms of identity, what comes up? Dominicanness, Caribbeanness, Africanness, Creole. In terms of just personality, humble, simple, friendly, approachable, one who enjoys life, very attractive personality. Performing qualities, very strong stage presence, charisma, abundance of energy, talent, a great voice. Music qualities, great melodies, great lyricists, a variety of styles, 
channels and evolve this music with the generations. Okay, so in terms of the impact of the of, 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 of Jeff Jones, it provided musical mentorship. He was a musical mentor providing advice to many musicians and singers, not just in Dominica, but in Martin, Puerto Rico, and, and beyond. His music crossed the borders, not just the Caribbean, but over to Africa and Latin America. I'll give you one example. Uh, I was in uh, Nicaragua many, many years ago, I think it was about 1985, and I went out to this market in Managua, Nicaragua, and I bought two albums by a group called Postal Dimension. One was a Christmas, kind of Christmas, you can bear the The other one was really a uh, reprise, a uh, 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 re a remix of popular Carlos Gibso hits. And among those hits were We Gave Up and Rosita by XL1. All the way over in Nicaragua. The same thing happened in Cape Verde all the way across um, over in West Africa and in St. Jens, Mauritius and Arabia. Now his music and lyrics also resonated with popular consciousness all over. Not only did he make people dance, but write anthems for parties and the clubs. Recording one, for example, Fab Dancing Ama Koko Set was like a road march, an anthem for the clubs and the parties, the beach festivals in the world. Fab Dancing Ama Koko Set is clearly when he does it. But that's dangerous stuff because the dragon from the right So he was giving you a price, Fab Dancing Ama Koko Set. Of course, you can take it and, and, and transform that meaning. Okay? Now his lyrics come as all the speakers before he said. Okay. His lyrics connect with people and their everyday experiences. Then our friends say talk about stories, the death, the politics, the folklore, you know, the sukuya and, and those kind of stories. So those lyrics actually connected with people and their everyday experiences. Now Jeff Grammas on the musical side also were engaged in a great deal of musical innovation within Carlos So even in the heyday of Carlos music, there was a great deal of innovation going on, not only just with XI1, like we feel as well actually, Sean Sondamo was one of the great, one of the very, very great innovation in, in Carlos music, which actually ushered in and paved the way for a genre of soup called uh, soup love. Okay, so you might, you might say, in fact, Sean Sondamo was probably you know, but uh, maybe you might say the, the mama and papa of the Sean girl called Sukla. Yeah? Uh, another thing about the innovativeness of the music was the use of the guitar and of course a very great tribute to Fueso. Fueso, very excellent guitarist and that will reflect the music. Of course the walls, the use of synthesizers and as a result the musical color of grammatical music was what he would describe in musical terms as technical, not great, but technical. In other words, the music of Jamax, Grammax and Jeff was very, very bright. It was not great at all. Very bright, the text of the Black Sea, the text of Caribbean, because the text of Caribbean color in that sense, yeah? Uh, so the music reflected that. Now, when Jeff came back on his solo career, he took the music even further internationally by fusing reggae, calypso, and funk with the calypso music. And of course, some of these were reflected in Sweet Banana Sweet. And in this project, he wrote with Akul and the Gang. Now, when he joined the project called Vote Fast, which is which really means about her, the Vote Fast project was founded by this and Joseph, created another great musical wave in Martin Akul and Paris. They created a new string of beats representing, just me, representing a new bilingual approach to the lyrics. Even too, there was a lot of emphasis on French crayon, crayon. In the context of fourth class, Jeff took a very interesting bilingual approach to the music, and you, it was this approach was reflected in If I Say Yes, put on the radio, and that also helped the people in Martin and Guadalupe to learn English. You know, so he reached the pit using that, that linguistic uh, diversity, if I call it, approach by Jeff. 
was a way not only to reach the land of diversity in our Caribbean, but to reach a wider audience. And again, to connect to your audience. Because this is what music does not. It's all about. You have to connect both musically and lyrically to your audience, to the generation. And that is one of the things that Jeff was able to do with the passing generations. Uh, at one point, I recall, uh, for the passing of the Casa, uh, in terms of the one, like, my once Casa was playing a concert somewhere in the outskirts of Point Game, and Goldfast was playing another. I mean, and Goldfast was having all the crowds and all the passings. And, and, you know, so, so his project with Goldfast actually created a new world. In some cases, they referred to him in one as on Damon Ciel. In other words, somebody who was just an abundance of energy on the stage and just brought everybody to life. That was Jeff Jones. Now, in terms of the impact, musical impact, Kassam and Sook Music benefited from a great deal by the work of Jeff and the other Dominican bands. This includes the aspect of showmanship, the stage presence, stage choreography, the popularity of Creole lyrics, and the fusion of styles within the musical genre. Okay, let me just repeat that. The aspect of showmanship, stage presence, Choreography, the popularity of Creole lyrics, and the fusion of styles. I recall way back in the 70s, the, 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 the musicians of Martin in the world, they performed mainly in concert for piano bars and clubs and so on. And basically, a very, I would say, conservative in their musical expressions. Uh, well, at least with this, I'm talking about the person, the musicians and the uh, so movements on the stage and that. They were very exclusive musically because they were schooled in, in the classics and the jazz. So from the musical, uh, what do you call the music, recherche the point of view, they were very schooled, but they couldn't transpose that musical recherche or that great capacity that they had to the stage. And this is what Jeff and the Dominican bands brought to the music in the French Antilles. So they transformed the whole notion of the music, the dance music, and what the music represented in the in, in the different sense. So when Kassav came on the scene, Kassav inherited all that those characteristics and gel into one of Kassav then took the whole uh, music of the spectacle, music of the spectacle to a whole new direction. Okay? Uh, so that that was uh, part of Jeff Jones' impact also. And he himself became part of the music phenomenon as well. And of course, Jeff Joe continued working in the Calypso genre, uh, really recording quite a few hours also of his career with illustrations and songs. But we also record that he re recorded EPT by Lord Short. And he even transformed that song into a new video hit. And EPT, Muni Mai EPT, Short so that was a, a, a sort of a attempt by Lord Shorty when he was in fact developing the soca uh, genre. So Shorty had come to Dominica, spent some time in Dominica, saw what Grandma's exile was doing, and he decided to create this song, EPT, with a fusion, it was actually a fusion of Calypso and Calypso's lips of rhythms as a precursor to developing the soca. Now on the culture side, on the culture side, in Dominica we take certain things for granted. As Ophelia uh, mentioned, we do not have a celebrated culture compared to Martin Goldman. In France, the celebrated culture, the culture of the fans. All right? Now, the arts feature as the most prestigious occupation in France. Okay? Uh, hence, the love and adoration and respect in these countries for the contribution of James Joe. Okay? Uh, but in the 1970s, the social and political circumstances did play a very great um, impact, sorry, on the individual artists like Jeff. Uh, we recall Black Power, Rastafarianism, the anti-colonial, cultural nationalist movement. And all of those movements, those influences impacted on our Dominican musicians, it impacted on Jeff uh, Joe. But once Stanis Gibson was born, it radically changed our dance culture, the dance band culture in Dominica. Not only that band sprung up in all villages in Dominica, you have these boys coming and biscuit teams on the mango trees in Paragon, um, striking the cat's rhythm. That was the intensity of the, of the action uh, impact of that. But a very important part of, of, of the music of Jeff Joe and the uh, Calypso is that the music united the generations. 
Compared to today where if I say Zoom and Bouillon, uh, and hip hop and rap tends to divide generations. But Carlos Lito in fact united the generations. The old and the young would be seen filling up the dance halls, they could uh, connect with the message, connect with the lyrics, and it was all a very uh, uh, one love kind of affair among the generations, the old and the young filling up the dance hall. Very, very important. And Jeff and Damas impacted on the mentality and consciousness of young people in the 70s, developing pride in going into the music, the fact that we can have our own homegrown music, and also pride in our Dominican culture. So it helped foster and foment that nationalistic consciousness among young people in Dominica from in the 70s and beyond. Though we know that the music itself has an intrinsic, intrinsic cultural significance because music is part of the culture. But very importantly, Jeff's music and Carlos' music in general impacted on the whole question of identity. That was one of the strongest cultural impacts of the music. Jeff Jones personally could say had several identities as many of us, myself, feel you. He was first and foremost a Dominican. He promoted Dominican in his performances, in his travels, media interviews, his dress, his trademark, but now he could be a Dominican flag. Someone over the street, right? And then he was a Caribbean man. He did not get bogged down in petty in politics. And this was reflected in his music, the various musical styles. And he mentioned each item by name, thinking in the classic world. I know I have been asked by my friend here to try and crack up in five tennis. We are doing fine. We're doing fine. So he considered himself just as mass media as the Guadalupian, as a non media. Okay? He was also an African man, paying homage to his African heritage and roots, Rastafarians, his red loss last time, always being up that part of his heritage. At the same time, Jeff was Creole. I've seen his commitment to promoting the Creole language in his music as Raphael Monsieur Ophir, the mass leader of Educated, that he and other musicians gave a very strong impetus to the Creole language and spread the Creole language to areas and countries that they were in before. Though Jeff Joe was very commonly uh, political. Okay? Every time we meet when he comes to we would have this political conversation. Uh, but these conversations were, were not only just about Dominica, but more importantly about building the links between Martinique, Guadalupe, and Dominica. So he was very, very committed to the, that type of politics, politics of change, the politics of rational development, of uniting the peoples of the Caribbean, and developing closer ties with the, the countries, as I said. Now, Jeff Joe, God help us here, the other thing. God people in Martin and Guadalupe to see themselves as Caribbean and not as French. Okay? In fact, Dominique is one of the biggest cultural impact of Caribbean music on the French dance. The presence of musicians like Jeff Joseph, God Henderson, and others, the, the physical presence of them personally interacting with cultural activists, with Creole nationalists, with politicians in Guadalupe, and through the music, uh, play a very important role in shaping and reshaping. Uh, the consciousness there. I remember back in the days, Dominica was a bad example. Dominica was a very bad example for Martin Luther King's work. Dominica represented everything that they ought not to be, they should not be. As a matter of fact, right wing politicians in Martin Luther World use Dominica as the example as to why Martin Luther King and World should not become politically independent, why they should remain in France. Because Dominica, you know, the rule is about poverty, Dominica is taking the P war and quickly come across the world to make one. So it was a very, very bad idea uh, picture. Okay? Now, of course, we have the example of the long pen, the uh, long pen elements, the criminal elements, who lived on the left of and went to the to to the world to perpetrate with the crime. So, we had a bad image. The one that is a gentle with grammar and all the others, created a whole new image for Dominico in Guadalupe and Martin. The school curator, the music played on radio, covers on TV, in the way the news was reflecting, or not reflecting, actually reflecting very little of the Caribbean region. The school curriculum that was in Martin and Gordon reflected very little of the Caribbean. The music that was played on radio and TV, very little of the Caribbean neighbors. Alright? The news, very little news about Dominica except when something sensational happens. 
Okay, so all that change in the entire social and political system in Martinique and Guadalupe. That is why, again, we can well understand the, the, the profoundness of the impact of Jeff Joe in terms of the culture and the music uh, in Martinique and Guadalupe. So, by way of conclusion, just to wrap up, uh, Jeff Joe contributed to the development of Creole music, to Dominican and Caribbean music, to the evolution of the music, connecting the music with each generation, and contributed to the international reach of Creole music. He contributed to lay the basis of the development of Zoom and the music of showmanship, the music of the spectacle, not just of the dance. Okay? And he also shared his experience freely to young musicians, not only in Dominica, but from the Dom, the, 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 the uh, overseas departments of France. And in terms of culture, as I said, his efforts he contributed to the valorization, uh, the projection of the Creole language, impacting on the political and cultural consciousness of the people, particularly of Martin and Gordo, and in that process, promoting a Caribbean identity, even while he projecting his own Dominican roots and identity, impacting on the political consciousness and awakening of, of Caribbean identity within the Dons and within the Caribbean, impacting on the dance culture, and the development of the music industry in the French Antilles and Dominica and our region. Thank you very much. Best of luck, best of luck, best of luck. The time has come to an end. My new life has just begun. Sunshine.